Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. Today we're gonna look at a Fox Body ECU and how to know if the one that you have is bad or needing repair. Let's get to it. All right, so for those of you rookies that do not know where your ECU is located and you do not know how to get it out, let's go through that a little bit. So this is the passenger side kick panel here. And there's going to be this trim piece that covers it up. Your ECU is housed back in here. So there's this little piece that pops off here. And there's typically a couple of clips in here. I've removed mine for easier access. But you can see those usually hang onto the back side of that panel. So your ECU is back up in here. I've got some other junk in the way that you won't. But that's your ECU. So your ECU is held in. There's a, a bolt right here that holds this plastic piece in. There's usually a ground wire on it. So you remove that, then you can remove this bolt that will um, remove the electrical connection from the ECU. And then you'll be able to wiggle the ECU out of there. <clears throat> be careful though, not to damage or break anything in the process. So after you get your ECU out, Let's take a look at uh, what you need to be looking for. All right, so the ECU that we're gonna look at is a Ford ECU. It's not from a Fox body, but they all have the same, uh, the same problems with them being so old. Uh, so your Fox body ECU is gonna have some screws around the outside that you'll have to uh, undo to open up the case. This one has a couple of screws on the side, but like I said, the Fox body ECUs and these ECUs are all very, very, very similar. The internal components are almost identical. So you're gonna remove the screws that hold the, the front cover on. This one's only got two of them. And once you get those screws removed, you can pop the front case open and expose the circuit board. Now this is what we want to look at, guys. So within your ECU, you'll have what's called a capacitor. See these little green things? See if I can get a screwdriver, there we go. So you've got a capacitor right here, got a capacitor right here, and a capacitor right here. Now those capacitors, when they start going bad, they don't supply the right amount of voltage to the board, and then your ECU doesn't work the way it should. Um, there are a couple of different um, a couple of different purposes for these. Uh, one's your fuel pump system, one's going to be the running system, and I, I believe the other one is going to be uh, an ignition system. But regardless, uh, what you want to look for is at the base of these capacitors. So at the base of them, it's like we can look at this guy right here. So at the base of that capacitor, it looks good. But if you were to see green fuzz or a type of nasty material in there on the board underneath this capacitor, that would mean that the capacitor is bad and is leaking. And then that circuit that it goes for is no longer working. That's how you can tell if your ECU is in need of replacement. Now, there, you can replace these yourself if you're good with soldering. Um, you can replace these capacitors and they tell you on the side of them what you have to have. It'll tell you the resistance and the temperature, or sorry, not the, not the resistance, but it'll tell you the capacitance and it'll tell you what you need on the side of them. But you have to be very careful replacing them. There are a couple of people that do this. Um, as a side job as far as testing them, but at least you know how to look at yours and tell if it's bad or not. I'm trying to look at these ones. So those other ones look good too. You can see the, the base of the connection on those. If there's any green fuzzy stuff, that's how you'd be able to tell if they're bad. So here's the deal guys. If you're having issues with your Mustang not starting, um, the fuel pump just continues to run all the time, won't ever shut off. Um, 
or, or other weird issues where the car just won't run, uh, it's a good idea to check your ECU, take it apart, look at your circuit board, make sure that those three capacitors are in good working condition and that they're not leaking anything on the board. It's a really good indication that the ECU is in need of repair. And these are, I mean, you can go to a junkyard and find these. They're, they're a dime a dozen. They're pretty easy to find. Um, it's not really a, a hard thing to do nowadays anymore. You can buy them from LMR. You can buy them from Rock Auto. You can buy them from American Muscle. A ton of different places sell these ECUs if you need them. Um, but they are pricey. Um, it is becoming a, a piece of equipment that is going to be a problem. These capacitors on, on Fox bodies are starting to go bad more and more frequently. I mean, it's 2018 right now, so it's it's just going to get worse as there's more and more cars out there with these stock uh, ECUs. Those capacitors only last so long. So um, there you have it, guys. Hopefully that was helpful for some of you guys who are a little less uh, electronically inclined. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, throw them below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. Have a great one. See you later.